What's up, fight fans? This is Kirk DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Anthony Joshua. Now, the news is that Anthony Joshua is willing to fight Tyson Fury behind closed doors and take a 6.5 million pound hit to do so, to catch the Gypsy King before he retires. And this is what he had to say per Batum. He says, when you, it does, he said, I would take... The uh, AJ said 100% I would take the fight for $8 million or less. 100% I would take the opportunity to fight at a drop of a hat. He said, but when you're fighting in front of 80,000 people, whether you like it or not, there's a massive impact <clears throat> on your physique, on your confidence, that urge to perform. I'm a perform I'm performing for the crowd. So yes, it would be difficult to fight without the crowd there to entertain, but a win is a win. And it goes down in history, and this is just part of history. And he said if Eddie Hearn managed to secure a Tyson Fury fight, but it's behind closed doors, I would take it. He said, if I don't take it now, then I don't think Tyson Fury will be around by the time this comes around again. When big hall shows are available, I have to take the opportunity while they're there. Wow. Well, this is good news. Um, I think that Anthony Joshua definitely wants that fight. And, I, and it's not a situation now where all the drama, all the confusion like last time with a different fighter, you know, by Mr. DW, by Mr. Bomb Squad. Um, I think it's a situation where Anthony Joshua knows the opportunity would be great for Great Britain, and I think he would do way more than 80,000 people. I think he would do 90,000 plus if Tyson Fury, undefeated WBC heavyweight champion, taking on two-time heavyweight unified champion Anthony Joshua in Wembley. There's no doubt about it. It would be massive. It would be massive and dangerous. And I, dangerous is, I'm going to save that for another video because, you know, I could go a little deep into that. However, uh, him fighting without the crowd, I personally don't like it. Why? Because all the things that he said, you know, uh, his physique, your confidence uh, has a massive impact on you. You're fighting for the crowd and there is no crowd. I don't like the idea of any type of potential excuses. You know what I'm saying? Like if you have an example, I, I want someone to be 100%. And him saying that if the crowd's not there, you're willing to take less, but it's going to have this much of an impact on you. I don't want you fighting like that. See, I believe in each and every fighter, whether I like them or don't, whether I care for them or don't, right? Right. I want them to have the best possible advantage to win. I want them at 100%. I want them 100% mentally, physically, spiritually, right? And every other way when they're going in there, especially a fight like this to this magnitude. Now, I know this is just talk because first of all, Eddie Hearn, I don't think a fight this big, he would have it between behind closed doors, you know, for a glorified sparring session, no. Absolutely not. Especially if Anthony Joshua saying, I might not fight as hard if there's no crowd there. No, you don't want that. Because if that's going to favor anybody, it would favor Tyson Fury. Why? Because Tyson Fury is accustomed to fighting people. You know, he fought, like he called the Klitschko fight, a snooze fest. And he didn't give a shit. He still did what he needed to do because the way he mentally is, is set up, crowds I don't think that bothers him. Okay, he can outbox you all night. He can sit there and work that jab. You know, I don't know if he's going to keep fighting like that or continue fighting the, 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 the newfound Crump Jim way, okay, with Javon Sugar Hill. But we normally known him in the past to box people, and it didn't matter if it was, if it was exciting or not. And the Klitschko fight surely wasn't. Klitschko was confused. He was just outboxed. But, I mean, you could have... <laughs> Yeah, you could have done that very easily, okay, in that fight. But, I mean, 
certain people because a lot of people, their attention span is sh very short. You know, I can watch a fight like that, but that's just me. I can't speak for everybody else. But if it's going to um, favor anybody would be Tyson Fury, and why would you want that? I want Anthony Joshua at 100%, and I know damn well Eddie Hearn wants that revenue. He don't want to lose $8 million. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, no, I don't think that would be the case. But it's good to know that Anthony Joshua, though, he is willing to reform around the new norm. Okay? We don't know what fighting or what boxing is going to be like after this. This We're in quarantine still. We don't know how it's going to adapt, evolve, Okay, boxing could very well lose the crowd because the crowd itself can be dangerous to everybody around them, including the fighters and everyone else. So it's good to know that he's willing to do that, you know, at the expense, uh, at the sacrifice of his physique and confidence and all that, you know. But again, I just don't want that to be an excuse. I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like excuses. I don't like problems when it comes to those type of things. Because you're going in there risking your life in the ring. The last thing you want is disadvantages due to whatever. You want to get those out of the way. So the fighter can just fight without any type of hindrance. If that makes sense to anybody. You know, um, Anthony Joshua, he once said, I want it to stay this way. Well, that's, that's consistent with him being okay with fighting behind closed doors. You know, um, so, but again... We have to really look at the idea of fighting behind closed doors if we're going to enjoy boxing, because what would you rather prefer? You know, you just can't see it live. You can see it at your house. I mean, how many people watch live fights anyway? A lot, but, you know, in a percentage, you know, yes, you would want to see something live. No, it's nothing like watching it live. There's nothing like watching a boxing match live. Okay, but if it saves lives, <laughs> Let's do it. And these guys can still get paid, still entertain us. We can sit from the comfort of our houses and, and watch it. That's fine by me. Get your HD ready. Forget SD. <laughs> SD will be outlawed. HD forever, right? 4K in the house, you know? But anyway, um, no, that's a sacrifice. And I think that Anthony Joshua knows that so many different things could happen, you know, um, to Tyson Fury. You know, I mean, because he's fighting at Deontay Wilder again. And we know Deontay, they're not they're not budging, which they don't supposed to, to be honest. They don't supposed to budge for that. You know what I mean? Because, you know, that's just that would really mess Deontay up. You know what I mean? <laughs> that would mess that boy up. You know, and we don't need that. That man needs his right to redeem himself. He needs to get off that number one list, the number one redemption list. He wants to get off of that people. <laughs> but anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Anthony Joshua willing to take an 8.5 million pound cut to fight behind closed doors as long as it's Tyson Fury for the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Of course, please subscribe and you guys been counterpunched. Peace.